The world of technology has spent the last week in Las Vegas with new products revealed. Retailers from across Australia doing deals to bring them to store shelves this year and media from around the world looking for the best gadgets. EFTM editor Trevor Long is one such person, can describe him as a lucky person, and he joins us now from CES in Las Vegas. Trevor, great to see you. It looks like a busy show so far. It is. This is actually the last day of the show, the last hours of the show, but there's still plenty of people coming through here in the West Hall. I'm at Applied EV, which is actually an Aussie company based out of Melbourne, making these amazing autonomous vehicles. So this is the kind of thing that in maybe five or ten years from now will be the vehicle that delivers your groceries or your uh, uh, online shopping to your home. So yeah, an Aussie company, Applied EV, here in, here in Las Vegas, trying to essentially break it onto the global stage. Wow, that is incredible. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see those sorts of vehicles. Perhaps rock up in my street one of these days. And now, Trevor, you've got your hands on with the latest Dyson product, but it's not a vacuum. What is it? No, not a vacuum. It's a set of headphones and an air purifier. So this is a wild looking product. Now, big headphones and that thing you'll see on my face there, that's an air purifier. So the headphones, while they're very high quality, they also have little motors in them that are purifying the air, pumping it through to your, your nose and mouth so that you're breathing fresh air. Designed for the, like the New York subway, the London underground, but anywhere where there's air pollution, this solves that problem. And then you've got high quality headphones at, at the same time to listen to your music, but likely to be a bit expensive. $1,000 in the US when they come to Australia, my guess, probably closer to $2,000 to look like that. Wow, uh, a great concept. Not sure how I'd feel about wearing something as clunky uh, on my face, but you know what? For Subways, great idea, as you said. Now, tell us about these smart glasses that blew you away. Honestly, I only saw these yesterday and I thought I'd seen all the good stuff. I put these on. These are from TCL, the Ray Neo X2. So they look like normal glasses broadly, clear lenses. But what I'm seeing on the inside is actually a menu system for a computer operating system. But I was able to have a conversation with a lady speaking in Mandarin in front of me and it, what I saw was the English text. So it live translated with about, I don't know, three second delay, live translated what she was saying so I could hear her in Mandarin, see the text in English and have a whole conversation. That's coming from TCL later this year and it could have everything from live mapping and navigation so you know your way around without having to reach for your mobile phone. Yeah, incredible. That's an awesome development. Now, there's a lot of car companies at this show too, Trevor. What are the new vehicle Mercedes and BMW showings? Yeah, Mercedes went all out with their EQXX concept. This is a beautiful looking sports car, but it's fully electric and it did 1,200 kilometres in one charge uh, on, a, on a run from Stuttgart to London. So there it is there. That's actually me in the passenger seat driving around the streets of Las Vegas in this thing. Beautiful concept, which is basically Mercedes way of saying we can do extended range, we can do high tech, and those are the things that will trickle down to veg for future generation cars. Over at BMW, though, something slightly different. The BMW iVision Concept D. Now, this is a car that changes colours. So look at it here. The colours are changing in real time because it's, it's like an e-ink style um, coating. So you can actually choose the colour and the pattern that's on it. But that's kind of just the attention grabbing thing. On the inside is a head-up display that spans the entire width of the windscreen and half the height so that you can get amazing information in front of you without ever taking your eyes off the road. Things like navigation that appears as if the lines are drawn on the road and also alerts to critical things. Like if a cyclist comes into your view and you didn't see it, the windscreen will flash red and highlight the cyclist. So that kind of dashboard or windscreen technology, BMW say, coming in 2025 to their cars. That's awesome. And uh, look out, Tesla. A lot of other developments happening, clearly. Just finally, among all the strange and the fascinating gadgets, there's something coming to supermarkets to make choosing, I hope I got this right, an avocado more simpler. <laughs> Whenever I get sent to the supermarket to buy anything fruit and veg, but avocados particularly, I'm like, I don't know, were they meant to be soft? Were they meant to be hard? I don't know. <laughs> the avocado uh, ripeness checker is a gadget that you put the avocado into and it will detect if it is ripe, ready to eat, or critical. So don't eat this, don't buy this. And look, the concept here is this could be in Coles and Woolworths by the end of this year, and it means that there's less wastage because more people will get the ripe fruit uh, and less people will be uh, leaving behind the other stuff. So I think it's a great concept and it will actually apply to other fruit and veg too. So they're using it with strawberries, they're looking at bananas, a whole range of different things. That kind of stuff genuinely coming to supermarkets very soon. 
amazing. We look forward to it. Trevor Long, you've got the best job in the world, but you knew that already. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us today. Cheers, Delica.